you very much. Hey, you all ought to get the Citizen of the Year Award for staying out here all day. I'm going to be really quick because you got an American hero over here that's going to be out soon that you need to hear from. Look, a couple of weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen, the president came back from vacation. A couple of weeks in Martha's Vineyard. And he told a reporter that he couldn't wait to get back here because he needed to come back to fight the crazies, he said, that were against the Iran deal. I'll tell you what's crazy, my friends. Crazy is giving the country that denies the first Holocaust while they plan the second one, $150 billion. Crazy, crazy is being a United States Senator willing to jump off of a cliff with the President of the United States on this issue. So I'm not even going to take my whole two minutes. I wanted to come up toward the end here to deliver a message to the people in that building. Every congressman and senator that votes for this deal will now be a hostage to the Ayatollah Khomeini and what the government of Iran does. And when tomorrow or next week or next month Iran does what they always do, promote terror, launch attacks on Israel, attempt to kill and maim American soldiers, Christians United for Israel Action Fund will go into the states of those congressmen and senators and we will remind their constituents what they did. And we believe those senators and congressmen will get the early retirement they deserve to think about, to think about the worst vote of their career. God bless you all. Thank you very much.